Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the service cannot accept control messages at this time error you're getting on your computer. So this is usually a network related issue and if you're getting a stop message or stop error network message, this tutorial will hopefully be able to address without too much of a hassle. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in services. Best match should come back with services right above desktop app. Just want to left click on that one time. Now you want to go down to the Credential Manager service. Right here, and double click on it. So you want to stop the service right here, so I'll click on Stop. And left click on OK. And if you're getting anything for like a background intelligence transfer service or other services, you want to apply the same idea. And once you're done with that, you want to double click on whatever service you're having the problem with again. Left click on the log on tab. Left click on the option that says this account. And then left click on browse. So under the area that says enter the object name to select, you want to type in your account name. So if you open up the star menu and typed in user accounts, for example, if you need, didn't know what your user account name was, and I left click on that, it should show us a list of the user accounts on our computer here, just in case you were unaware. So if I go underneath your info on the left side, see my username is MD Tech, so I'm just going to type in exactly how that appears. So then I'm going to left click on check names and once the name is recognized you want to left click on OK. Now you want to enter in your password for the account. In my case I don't have a password on this account so I'm going to left click on apply and OK. And you can see it was granted a log on service right so I'm going to left click on OK again. Kind of went a little by a little quick, but you saw what I did. I just entered my password, which I don't have one on this account, and then I left clicked on OK just to close out of that. So hopefully that was a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.